what's up? This is Hunter Nelson from Tortoise and Hair Software, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about networking in Jacksonville. Uh, so I'm going to pop over here to a blog post on technical networking in the Jacksonville area and just kind of run through it real quick. Um, so started Tortoise and Hair Software back in September of 2018 um, and a big part of the strategy for kind of getting the word out there and getting to know some people has been doing a little bit of a networking um, since my background is in software development and um, I also sell to technical companies I do a lot of networking at tech events um, so I uh, just want to highlight some of the bigger, better tech events that I've been to throughout uh, my time over the past year and a half and uh, help you get the most out of your networking efforts in the Jacksonville area. Um, so, first off, we'll kick it off with uh, Tech on Tap. Tech on Tap is probably one of the biggest uh, networking events in the tech scene in Jacksonville. It's very popular. Uh, I mean, having a couple beers and talking with people is always a pretty uh, popular activity, um, but this one's sponsored by Robert Half, uh, and it's a recruiting company, so it's a great place to go out there and just do some networking with um, more businessy folks, uh, managers, if you're searching for a job, it's a great event because it's sponsored by a recruiting company, um, but there's also developers, uh, networking folks, you know, MSP owners, that sort of thing, so it's very broad technical uh, meetup and it's a lot more social than some of the other ones. Um, so Jax Tech, this one's one of my favorites. Uh, they frequently have events at Mosh and they have an event every summer at Surfer Bar in Jacksonville Beach. Um, but I really like this one because it's a lot more startup and venture capital oriented and uh, when I was starting my business, um, it's been in business about a year and a half now, um, that was spoke directly to me um, so it's for a you know general tech industry audience um, but there's a lot of business owners um, startup entrepreneurs um, you know there are some venture capitalists that come through our venture capital scene isn't huge in Jacksonville but there is a small one um, but there's really great speakers that are pretty innovative and um, have done some really cool stuff and I get a lot more out of the speaking sessions than I might at some of the other groups um, so the JITC here, uh, Jacksonville Information Technology Council, uh, this is a chamber sponsored group, um, so it definitely has a little bit of a chambery feel, um, but it's for like a general tech industry audience. If you are a business owner that's hyper focused on attracting local customers, or your uh, target audience is in the government and city planning sort of field, uh, you definitely want to go out to this group. Um, it's also one that's really good to get involved with what's going on in the city. So if you want to uh, do some volunteer work or just kind of help build Jacksonville in general, then JITC, JITC is the one for you. Um, Jack's Code and Coffee. This one's great because it is a it's good for distributed networking. So you know Jacksonville is a huge city. Um, driving around is a big challenge for a lot of people to get to you know some networking groups that might be on the other side of the city from where they live um, you know we all got to get home and take care of things at the house after work and stuff like that so um, Jack's Code and Coffee is great because it does a rotating uh, set of events at various places throughout the city and even in St. Augustine um, it's mostly developers and startup people so it's very coffee shop and laptop feel um, but you can get some good connections. Um, Big Data Jacks. I have not personally been to this one, but it was recommended strongly by uh, one of the Jacksonville Tech Slack groups, and it's also the second largest uh, group, so I imagine it has a pretty good turnout, which is not too surprising because you know most uh, MBAs and um, other business focuses are just there's just so much emphasis on reporting and analytics these days that um, you know because Big Data Jax is presenting on more reporting and analytics types topic topics um, you know it's not always big data topics uh, but just database data and reporting topics um, it attracts a uh, 
a bit a technical audience, but uh, also some you know more businessy audience as well. So good one to stop by. Um, it's on my list of things to do. Um, the JSUG Jacksonville SQL Server User Group. Um, I actually haven't been to one of their meetings either, but I do go to the SQL Saturday every year, which is like basically a big big giant meeting of theirs. Um, and I know they have a very active community. Uh, when I was a developer, I was a .NET developer, so I was working with SQL Server pretty regularly. These days I'm doing more digital marketing and uh, WordPress stuff, so um, that's why I haven't gone, not because I don't think the group is awesome. Um, I definitely like Jeff Taylor who runs the group, and um, I know that he has done a good job building a loyal following, so if you're involved in .NET or use SQL Server regularly, um, or just want to get more involved in a database specific group, this is a great one to go check out. North Florida Agile Meetup is a uh, kind of scrum and agile consultants based group. Um, so it's good for a general tech industry audience. You're definitely going to get a little bit more businessy um, set of contacts here as opposed to technical contacts. There are a handful of tech contacts that uh, come out there, but uh, most everybody's working within a technical field because Agile is really popular in tech, you know, as opposed to some of the other um, verticals in town. So um, it's good when to connect with managers, um, Agile enthusiasts, etc. And uh, they usually have kind of a fun activity, and it's a little bit more interactive than some of the groups. So React Jax is a very popular one, and React's gotten really popular in uh, Jacksonville. Um, this is going to be one of the more popular kind of um, tech, uh, like a specific technology focused groups. Um, so there's going to be like usually a presentation with, um, you know, some pizza and drinks there uh, on what's going on with React specifically. Um, I try not to cover too many of the more specific technology groups in this post, but React Jax is just kind of worth a mention because it is one of the most popular ones. Uh, Startup Jax. This is another one of my personal favorites, and uh, it's great because it's just kind of low-key and casual. It's definitely more for like the startup and entrepreneur groups, and there are occasional um, venture capitalists that come through. But it's a monthly meetup at one of the bars in San Marco, who, which is owned by a, an exiting founder um, who had a successful exit. Um, called posting house and it's really low-key so it's casual it's more like if you have questions or want to get some advice or just like kind of find a mentor or something definitely recommend this one because it's a lot more conversational whereas some of the other ones can be bigger you can make good contacts and everything but it's not quite so uh, intimate and personal there's a little bit more like you know forced interaction so you can kind of get to a deeper level conversation at this one so um, that's why it's one of my favorites um, other tech meetups in Jacksonville, there's a ton of them. Um, I'll put a link to the meetup group in of the tech category on meetup.com here. Um, they start to get smaller and more niche focused. You know, there's stuff, AI groups, there's Python, there's Angular, there's cyber security. They're all, there's groups for most of the kind of more popular uh, specific technologies um, that you might encounter in building software. Um, or working with um, you know networking or IT more IT stuff um, so definitely go check them out uh, there's a lot of great stuff um, there's one for everybody and uh, you know I'll leave you a couple with a couple final thoughts and how you can kind of get the most out of going to these networking groups um, you know one bring business cards uh, business cards are not dead uh, and quite frankly, they make the exchanging of contact information so much easier rather than, you know, pulling out your phone and like, oh, well, uh, you know, let me type this in. What's your number? You know, all that stuff. Boom, you just hand a business card and that's in. That's the end of it. And you can, you know, keep the conversation rolling. Um, regular attendance is key. People want to see you coming regularly and kind of getting involved with the group. Um, you know, stopping by doesn't hurt every once in a while, but uh, you'll get the most out of regularly attending a group. Skip the conversations about politics and religion. You know, sometimes they work out, but when they don't work out, it's usually the cost is not worth the risk, so just skip them. Um, 
you know, dress for success. Uh, Jacksonville's net tech networking scene is pretty casual, but, uh, you know, uh, something like this, just like collared casual, business casual shirt. Um, you know, t-shirt doesn't hurt every once in a while, but, uh, you know, just um, be groomed, you know, that sort of thing. Um, arrive a few minutes early to talk business. Um, and then stay a few minutes late to build relationships. So, you know, when everybody's there, um, you know, the quality of what you're actually doing in terms of talking can kind of degrade a little bit. Um, people tend to, you know, get in their own sort of clicks for the night or whatever it is. Um, so if you, you have a specific agenda that you're trying to like push, then er early and late is really when that kind of happens. Um, and then lastly, have fun, and uh, let's all grow Jacksonville together. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoyed this post. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll have the link to the post in uh, the comments on social media or in the video description on YouTube. So um, feel free to click on the link and come over here and uh, check out the post. And uh, you can read more, and there's links to all the uh, groups within the post that you can find and uh, sign up for an event on Meetup. Alright, thanks for watching.